and this is Keith reporting from the Bad Boys of Monley, the new TV show that's going to bring you the Bad Boys of Tampa, especially the ones that are going to wreck the lives of most women in town. And next to me on my left here is my co-host, Mandy. Welcome, Mandy, from Clearwater Beach, Florida. Hello, how are you? And Mandy's going to tell us a little bit about the Bad Boys and what she's heard so far. First, we'll start with Todd, who's on my right. Mandy, what have you heard about Todd so far? That might just be a pretty face. I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see. And what have you heard so far about Ryan? I don't know. He seems to have a little bad boy in him. Don't worry. Is he the type of guy that you want to date yourself? Um, I don't know. He's got a pretty face. We'll see what happens. Or is Todd the guy you're looking at? Very different. <laughs> and, and, and does it matter who's bad? I think a good girl always wants to be So the better the better. I mean, you're a good girl? I'm a good girl. Fantastic. Let me take it over here on my right. This is Todd Hudson, one of the bad boys from Tampa. And further on my right is Brian Moore. But let me start with Ty. Ty, what do you feel makes you the top bad boy in Tampa? Well, like I say, it's like a firecracker, you know, I'm just ready to pop. <laughs> and, um, man, that's, you know, you only live once, that's my motto. That's what we heard about you. You want to try anything, and we're going to look forward to it. And then further on my right is Brian. Brian, you're obviously the more intelligent one at the bad boy. So what makes you an intelligent bad boy here? I wouldn't say the intelligent one, I just don't think it's the one here and there, and I don't think they're really done. So, I may have to have a little fun doing it, but, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> what has attracted you to this Bad Boys program? What makes you want to be on this program? It's seen. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a fun time, and uh, have some people notice me. Well, there you have it. There's a little sampling from the Bad Boys of Modeling. There'll be four other models besides these two. So tune in. And let's make this happen. You bet. Watch your Twitter. And let us know what you think. You can Twitter us at Pound Bad Boys of Modeling. Thank you. Reporting again from the Bad Boys of Modeling. This is a quick take. We're here at Fritz Island Grill on Clearwater Beach. And I'm here with two of the Bad Boys of Modeling who happen to have just met Brianna. Brianna. Brielle. See, I've already got it wrong. Maybe I should be a Bad Boy. <laughs> I know I'm a Bad Boy. You can spank me if you like. Anyway, the names are. Brielle, when you first met Todd and Ryan, what was the first thing that kind of hit you about them? The fact that they said they were brothers, but don't look that much like me. Ah, we've got the beginning of some bad boy Spice campaign going on here. So Todd, what was that all about? Well, you know, he is like my brother. I love him to death, you know, and he says it's got to be by blood. So, you know. <laughs> and Ryan, what was going on with you and Brown when you first got to the club? Her and I had to get together for a little picture. She didn't mind too much, but she did help us out. And, and what do you think would be like if you went on a date with a couple of bad boys? I would think that there would probably be a lot of pretty faces, but very little substance. And, and how do you feel about that, Ryan? Uh, I'm appalled right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's understandable as the cliche goes, all models are dumb dogs. Maybe one fun of that. Or, or maybe you feel there would be a lot of substance and a lot of saving face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was that you were going to say, Todd? Uh, um, well, I'm pretty sure we probably rock your world in a lot of other different ways. And blow your socks off. Mix with a couple other things. <laughs> but don't judge a book by its cover. That's my argument. I stand by that all the time. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? That's an interesting yeah. topic. Don't judge a book by its cover or don't judge a bad boy by his face. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I think that if you were to judge them by their face, then you would have to say, oh, there's going to be a lot of great things inside. And I think exactly what I was saying was the reverse of that, saying that just because maybe there is a pretty face, it doesn't mean that there's going to be anything else going on. Anything uh, for you guys? Yeah, that's shut me down. I don't have a pickup line for that one. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. A quick take 
from the Bad Boys and Modeling and Brielle. Thank you. Hi, this is Pete again. Bad Boys and Modeling. We're here at the yeah, Beach Border Race. And we're here with the originator of the show. This is Sabata. Sabata, tell us a little bit how you came up with the idea of this show. And they have a show for women. And I just, you know, was thinking the guys got a show called uh, to look at American Next Top Model. And I was thinking the women need something to look at, some eye candy, and that men can do. And that's how I came up with the show. And, and what do you think the women are looking for in a bad boy? I mean, what do you think the, the ideal bad boy would be for women that might watch the show? A guy with an attitude. I mean, great looks and you know that's what women looking for these for you know these days they look for a guy with a real bad attitude they look for a bad ass but that look good. And, and does there have to be that little something that they can't put their finger on that that makes them want to be attracted to them and kind of find out what that's all about yes you gotta have a woman mind wondering you know what that guy has that's, that's what I want to love, what that guy has. He's in my wonder. And there you have it, a quick take from the originator of the Bad Boys of Modeling. This is Keith signing out from Clearwater Beach.